Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and it is time for another awesome Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, I love Facebook groups. This is the Tinkercad Worldwide User Group. Great question here how to take two of these half circle shapes and put them right inside each other. Friends, I got a solution. Let me show you how. Let's start by naming it. I'm going to call it Tube Trick. Let's bring out a tube. The user mentioned 20 centimeters. This would be 20 millimeters. I'm going to work from here and then we can scale it up. I also saw potentially a wall thickness of three. I'm going to give it all the sides and now let's cut it in half. So the slick way to do this is since it's 20, I'm going to take the hole and I'm going to make it 10. Select the two L for align center bottom edge group. There's our shape. This is the trick I think you're going to want to use. If we do export SVG, it's going to give us a SVG version of that file. I'm going to just save it in my downloads. Then I'm going to turn around and I'm going to import it. I only want the art. I'm going to keep the measurements and just hit import to bring it in. Now what this does for us is it gives us this cool trick. There's version one, control D. Version two, we're going to switch to outer line. I'm going to make it one and press enter. I will bump up the quality and pick a fun color. And check it out. There is your shape with one inside the other, but now it's got the grooves. You can, of course, have fun and modify that as you need. If you don't want this bottom edge, I'm going to simply ungroup our old part and I'm going to bring this over and I want to drop this to the gray edge. So watch this. I'm going to hide that, put the work plane on this little edge right here, D to drop, and you can see I got to stretch it past. And now we can group the blue and the hole. And I think that is the shape the user was looking for. So that was pretty darn fast, but notice this is larger than the user started with. So let's try this. Control D, take the second one, still gonna make it the fancy blues, just cause it's fun. And then on this one, I'm gonna switch to inner line. Once again, line width of one, wait patiently for it to modify. Notice now it is inside. I do wanna bump up the quality. I probably want the round edges. So you can see the other one that is underneath. If I grab the blue one, you can see I can lift that up and it leaves that little groove in there if that's what you wanted. We could also do control D. Let's nudge this over here. All right, so let me show you one more thing. If I take this blue one and I make it a hole and we group it, you'll notice it leaves that little sliver, but otherwise it's the perfect piece inside. I would just get rid of the bonus piece using a whole cylinder. Once again, when you bring it out, I'm going to make the sides round and I'm going to shift squeeze it till it's the exact size of that inner circle. You can see here that it's touching that other one. So I'm just going to shift squeeze. If you change your nudge to something smaller, you can see that is quite easy. Check it out from every angle to make sure you're not bumping. This side, I was a little close. I'm going to just nudge it over. That fits in there pretty groovy and a final control G and there's your part. So we started with a tube, cut it in half and then used the outer line, inner line and some brute force cutting to make the shapes that I believe the user wanted. Friends, as I wrap up, I love to show off the creations I make. Don't forget when you are done with a project, you can make it look better by clicking settings, picking a different background color. I'm going to pick a blue and I'm going to shut off that grid. When you click back, that is a much nicer view of the project. And then to share it with the world, you simply return to the Tinkercad workspace. Click up here on the properties. Of course, give it a good design name. Mine's going to mention the tutorial. I'll paste that tutorial in soon. Of course, give it some tags. I do want to remind you that if you ever add the tag HLMT23 to any project, you I search that tag almost every day. And of course, I will give you a reaction. Finally, make your design public. Tell them you're not a robot. And then I always choose attribution, no derivatives, because instead of copying my work, I want you to come up here, follow that tutorial and gain some epic skills. Lastly, hit save changes. Friends, as I close out this video, I do want to remind you about my website 
hlmodtech.com. I have got a page dedicated to Tinkercad, tons of amazing categories up above, and then down below you can find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and finally the Tinkercad essentials. Also in the corner, friends, you can find the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion to reach me almost instantly. I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of users and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.